This is the site where the armoured train was derailed and where Winston Churchill was captured. I'm now looking at the graveyard, including the mass grave of the men who died here. The legend in the cement was made of three or three cartridge cases which were pressed into the wet cement and here they remain and it reads erected by the border regiment in memory of our comrades who fell on November and the date is missing here 151899 now only recently have has this sort of pillaging been going on and people have been knocking out the cartridge cases as you can see but down here at the bottom of the O in the November is one that I was really looking for. I'll come as close as I can. It's this one. And when I wet it, you can clearly see the one V of a Mark IV. A dum dum. There are a few others in here as well. This is clear proof that, whether intentionally or not, some of the British troops did have dum-dum ammunition on them when they came out to South Africa, certainly in the early part, and those were men who came here from India. This is the current track bed, but the track bed at the time of the Boer War followed this line here and where I'm standing. And this upturned rail coach uh, is here to depict uh, the, uh, the, the derailing of the armoured train in uh, November 1899. This, of course, is part of the reenactment which was carried out only a few months ago. What resemblance this truck has to those of that time, I cannot tell you. But the NGR stands for the Natal Government Railways, which was the, uh, the name of the railways at that time in the province of Natal. This is the inside of the truck and to me it looks like a narrow gauge uh, goods wagon.